everyone, my name is Ellie. Today I'm going to make cake pops with the cake pop maker made by Nostalgia. Um, I'm going to show you what this looks like. Um, so you're going to need half a cup of oil, three eggs, a cup of water, and one bowl, bowl to mix the ingredients. So, um, first you're going to, okay, first you're going to open this up, and here's like instructions for what else you can make, like over here you can make like pumpkin cake pops and red velvet cake pops and lemon cake pops, but today we're going to be making strawberry cake pops and with some with um, chocolate frosting and strawberry frosting and just normal frosting that's like white. And so you're going to open this up and you'll get a pink cake pop maker. And then, and then um, you're gonna get the cord and then plug it in over here. And then it will come out in like this pink cake pop maker, and this is what it looks like inside. And then just plug it in. Let it warm up, and then you're, you'll start um, making the cake pop mix. So first, what you're going to want to do is open this up, and it will come in a package that looks like this. And then you can grab some scissors, and then um, cut it open. Does the light come on when you know it's ready? And I think the light will come on when you know it's ready. 
But right now, before we like pour it in, you can get um, your frosting ready. And I'm going to get chocolate and strawberry frosting ready right now. And then when we're done making this, we'll, um, we'll um, get the other frosting ready. So if you come over here, we'll get the... Um, Two bowls, about this size maybe, and then I'm gonna pour some strawberry into this blue bowl and some chocolate into this bowl. And you might want to heat it up for about maybe 30 seconds or until it's like ready to be mixed into fries. So come to your microwave and you can pull one up at a time and then just set the timer and go back heating up. We'll grab our other one and I'll pour this into a cup. seconds. It's not like totally ready yet, but if it's not ready, I'll put it in for maybe another half uh, a minute. So I'll put it in for another 35 seconds, or maybe a little less than that. And then After done, you'll put it on. And then, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the red dyed vanilla um, white chocolates. And then I'll just put it in here for about a minute and 45 seconds. And while that's waiting, I'll just stir this 
we'll just mix this up. And this is pretty much ready. I put it in for two minutes. So we might be... Okay, and then you'll um, cook it for three to seven minutes in the cake pop. In the cake pop maker. And then I'm just going to stir this up a tiny bit more and put it in for a couple more seconds. stories to tell about baking? Well, and here's a couple stories I'll tell you about how I bake. Um, I've liked baking for a while and I usually like bake cookies and I, me and my sister baked all of these cookies a couple days ago and I like baking bread and cake sometimes. And I like making muffins and lots of baking stuff. And, um, yeah, and I, here's something else I like to do. Um, it's to collect, like, baby dolls, kind of. Like, not, like, ones that aren't realistic, but, like, the ones that are realistic and I think they're pretty cool and there's one over here she's kind of like a reborn kind of and um I have a channel another channel on tween baby mom if you haven't seen that um you guys should see it and um yeah and her name's Adeline and I'm saving up for a new baby doll, actually. I might get her in a couple of days or so. And then if your um if your frosting kind of gets a little um stiff or hard, just kind of stir it up a little bit. But I think out of all of these, I'm gonna have to say this one probably looks the best. This one's a little clumpy, but that's fine. It will still work. And I will have to say this one looks the smoothest. And if you have sprinkles, that might be good to have. But I'm not sure if I have any sprinkles. But it's fine. But next time I might have to get some friends at the store. And the time on the oven for the cake pops is like two more minutes. So I'll just make these a little more smooth until then. Do you 
you like it when I bake? This is my little brother, Micah. I'm not little because I'm seven and she always says that. Because she's first to act. And the time on the oven is about a minute and 30 seconds. And so we just stir these up a tiny bit more. They're getting smoother, or that one's getting smoother as I stir it. And I think I might like the chocolate one the best. And if you guys have not heard of um, and you can also use like little like candies like Smarties and you can like um, crunch them up and make them into like little sprinkles, that would be good. And you might want a, a bowl or a cup. Okay, and or a plastic bag, like a sandwich bag. And then um, you could just like bang it. So I'll take it out of the bag. And once you get it out of that um, wrapper, you put it in the plastic bag. And there's the oven beaten. It's fine. I mean, they'll still taste good. And I'll put some more in. 